actually con carne. Um, this is the second of my once a week big cookery sessions. Um, so this is going to be a week two. So I'm trying to get this all in the wok. I know I shall struggle. But um, I've got two tablespoonfuls of oil which I'm going to put in the wok. And I've got the slow cooker on, set at high, so that's heating through. Um, once I've got all these ingredients on the go and bubbling away, it'll all get transferred into the slow cooker. So, I've got one, one and a half kilos of uh, lean minced steak, 750 grams of onions chopped, 300 grams of mixed peppers, um, four beef stock cubes crumbled, three garlic cloves finely chopped, four level teaspoonfuls of chilli powder, um, two teaspoonfuls of cumin, two tablespoonfuls of tomato puree, an ounce of plain flour, two tins of kidney beans drained and rinsed it should be three really but the third one when I opened it there was something wrong with them so I've had to throw that away so I can always add more beans later and four tins of chopped tomatoes and the final ingredient Branston fruity sauce I shall add that at the end with the salt so let's get started so the first thing to do is to cook the garlic and the chilli in the hot oil. And the cumin. Just want to give them a quick blast before we add in the meat. Right, straight in now with the meat. And the onions. So I'm going to break this down. to brown it on all sides before adding the rest of the ingredients. It's much easier to do this in a wok than in a pan really. Because you've got the bigger surface area. Right, the meat's well broken up now so I'm going to add in the stock. And the flour. We need the flour to cook so we're going to do the same thing again. Stir it all around for two or three minutes to cook the flour. Right next we're going to add in the peppers and the tomatoes. And the tomato puree. The next thing, a good old stir again to combine. I may have to add some liquid as well, but I won't know until this is all mixed in and it comes to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, I'm just going to put it in the slow cooker and leave it for a few hours until it's tender. I won't put the beans in until the last half hour. This is all going to simmer away and be lovely and tender in the end. If 
if I'm not happy with the colour, I can add a few drops of gravy brown in. It doesn't do anything to the flavour. It's only caramel. But it, I don't know, it just makes it look richer. said many times before I don't add any salt until the end of the cooking period because you can't taste this at this stage the meat is still raw so you've no idea how much salt it's going to need bring that to a simmer and then we'll whack it in the slow cooker and then the slow cooker will do its magic and it is magic <coughs> the only water I'm going to add is that much because I think that will cook really nicely now in the slow cooker it doesn't lose any liquid because of the lid keeps everything in so all the flavors are kept in and so I'm going to put that in the slow cooker now and then once I've got it all in I shall turn it to auto so when the slow cooker thinks it's bubbling away nicely it will just turn itself down So, it's looking good so far. Right, the chilli took four and a half hours to cook. Um, I didn't turn dish it up last night because it was too late. But um, it's cold now and I've shared it all out. And as you can see, it's made 16 portions. That's a smaller one. But that's more than one portion because I have actually eaten some. So... I can assure you the taste is just like a flavour explosion in your mouth. It's fantastic. So um, I'm going to be showing you some meals that you can make with that chilli. Um, so watch this space. And don't forget the recipes are all in my ebook, the new once a week cookbook. It's on my website at www.onceaweekkitchen.co.uk a PDF version which you can print off um, £1.50. Now you save that in energy costs in no time at all. It's also available um, at Kindle, Amazon Kindle and at smashwords.com in various uh, formats you, that you can download to your phone or your iPad or your laptop, whatever. So I do hope you'll buy that book and learn to cook like I do. If you can cook like I do, you can get a job as a cook. If you can cook like I do, you can start your own business. Um, so there you go. Go for it. See you later. Bye.